That was so close. I would have been just absolutely beside myself if we would have lost this guy. I love these Osakas. Um, I want to clarify something. I love the Osaka ships. The pilots that fly them, that's a different story. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy, gaming, and in this episode, if all goes well, we will completely obliterate the Xenon here out of split free family and Pilate space. Uh, so we we're picking up pretty much right where we left off in the last episode, and uh, we are ready to begin our assault on the Xenon Wharf. I have moved my fleet, excuse me, closer to the wharf and uh, a little bit above it. Uh, we learned in the last episode that we definitely want to prioritize the docks. Um, and there are two docks on the wharf like there were on the shipping yard, because if we don't do that, then the drones just keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. And I don't know how many drones <laughs> we actually killed at the shipyard. The, the little corpses are gone now um, because <clears throat> I've logged out of the game. That was yesterday that I recorded that. And... Um, there, uh, we, we killed well over 100 drones, though. Uh, probably even maybe 200. I don't know. There were just there were so many, I couldn't believe it. Um, but as soon as we take their docks out, then the drones stop coming. So that has got to be our top, uh, our priority targets on the wharf. And then after that, we will take out their defense stations and then the rest of it um, from there. Okay, so what we're going to do is I've got my fighters assigned to the Orca. And we're going to take the Orca... Uh, who is currently already in a protect position uh, default command. And we're going to put that over the, the wharf, right over the top of it here. Or close enough to over the top of it anyway. I guess that would be right over the top of it there. And <clears throat> that's a, we're a bit high up though too, so let's... Let's drop it down to maybe about there-ish, I'm thinking. That's probably pretty close there. Okay, and then what uh, myself and the three or four Osakas will do is we will uh, target the, the docks uh, specifically. Uh, so I'm going to tell the Osakas... Uh, to also fly to the sphere. Let's just go there. And then if we we move it over that way. Okay, where's the orca going to be again? Yeah, that's close enough. I think that's close enough. Okay, here we go. Our final push to destroying the Xenon here in split space. Split free family space. Um, where is the wharf, actually? Xenon wharf. There it is. We still might have our fleet a little too high above it, but we'll, we'll adjust as necessary. But it's going to be easiest to come at this from the top because then we have a direct line of sight to both of the docks. Uh, I had a little bit of, of trouble with that at the shipyard because I didn't have a direct line of sight to the docks. So we'll just kind of get to where we fly almost directly above it. So yeah, this Osaka is in a pretty good position, I think. Okay, so let's stop here. And I think I want to bring <coughs> the Orca down uh, Well, no, the Orca's actually in a pretty good spot. Maybe down just a little bit more. How much, though? Yeah, I think that's a good spot. Okay. So, why are the fighters not coming to the Orca? They show that they have the command. Let's 
let's just remove them completely and reassign them. Mimic commander's behavior. There they go. Okay. So if the uh, other Osakas would get off coffee break, what the hell are you guys doing down there? Oh, man. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's... Let's pop out of our captain's seat and make sure that the rattlesnake is on hold position. Okay, so they should stay put. Okay, everybody is in position. So well, let's go into to the map here. And we want to go to Xenon Wharf. We want to go to Dock Modules. Excuse me. And we want to target this one first. And tell our boys to go get it. Let's do this. Hopefully this will go a lot smoother without 500,000 drones attacking us. Few, but if we can get the docks out first, then we should be good to go. Okay, so we got the first dock out. Man, that sucker's tough. Um, let's assess the situation now. We've got a, quite a few drones. So I want you guys who aren't in the best position now to remove all orders. Let's get the other dock module targeted. Welcome Graviton Fire. Sockers is taking some graviton fire. Um, let's see here. So that's going to be you. Because you didn't stay up high. So, um, let's see, how should I deal with this? Alright, I want you to remove all orders and I want you to fly away from the graviton and up in the air wait a second maybe not that high up okay something hit us yeah no shit you're a dumbass Still see graviton fire going on. 
He's probably okay. So he's probably was just getting turned around, and he's pointed in the right direction. So hopefully he'll get out of there before he loses this hole. Okay, I think he got away. So I don't see the graviton fire anymore. There's a a small defense module that. Somebody's shooting at. Okay. Let me just look and see what's going on. So this Osaka's taking a little bit of damage. Looks like our boy got away here. So I'm going to cancel this order and tell you to go repair at the Orca. I did tell these guys to attack the dock, but it's like they're not doing it. Well, we better attention towards these defense turrets that are shooting. Okay, that one got down at least. Okay, hold on. He's just about ready to lose shields. Okay, which defense? Uh, yeah, which defense platform? I don't know why he's got a fly two command. Well, no, he doesn't. He's got an attack command. It's probably. Um, let's see here. That dock module's almost toast. I mean, it's so close. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on it. It's it's so close. Hopefully that other dude can hold out until we can feel it. Because if we don't take out these docks, the drones are just gonna keep coming. Okay, docks done. Now let's um. Osaka one's in big trouble. So what we're gonna do is. Remove all orders. Well, I guess he doesn't have any orders. It might be better for me to actually tell them to fly out this way so they don't have to turn around first. I don't know if they're going to make it, though. They're they're in bad shape. Um, and then i got to figure out which defense module is... The one that's actually targeting that ship. It's probably it could be that one, or it could be that one. It could be that one too. I mean, it's hard to say for sure. Not going to be any of these that are way over there. Ooh, if it's that one. That one's taken out. That one's almost taken out. Let's um let's target this one. this far one that's got Osaka one targeted. Oh shit, he's just about dead. Ugh. It, they just 
if they would have just stayed with me at the very beginning where they were positioned and gone straight down like I did, everything would have gone as smooth as a baby's butt. But no, 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 no. We're going to go off and do our own stupid ass AI bullshit and get ourselves killed. That's exactly what we're going to do. Because we're smarter than you, old guy. Look at that. <laughs> seven percent. Uh, well, no, eighteen percent hull, seven percent shield. Oh my god. Oh, I'm stressed out. I gotta say, I'm a little stressed out right now. But hey. Um. All right. So we don't have to worry about drones any longer. Um. Where are you going? I thought I already gave you a command to get out of here. I don't know why he's still not following. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing with him. I'm gonna have him fly out this way and up in the air a bit and then go repair at the Orca. That was so close. I would have been just absolutely beside myself if we would have lost this guy. I love these Osakas. Um, I wanna clarify something. I love the Osaka ships. The pilots that fly them, that's a different story. <laughs> this is bad. Oh shit, okay. Um, the other two Osakas are doing okay. So uh, I think, you know, next thing we want to do is prioritize defense modules, the remaining defense modules. So let's see, this one is halfway down. So yeah, let's do this one next. Okay, so we got that defense module down. Let's take a look at the situation. The drones are getting thinned out. There are not too many more of them left. So let's select the next defense module. This one is almost done, so we'll get it next. Affirmative. That was quick. I think let's do this little one next and then we'll get the big one. We'll go for this big one. Okay, so. Um, have some good news orders. and some bad news. The good news is we just took out that big defense platform. The bad news is uh, there were still a few drones left, and they took out my engines. So I can't move. Uh, but fortunately, I have repair drones, and they should eventually get to my engines and get them back online. Even if we can just get one online, then we can fly over to the Orca and uh, get it fixed there. So as far as the station goes, it is just about done for. Let's take a quick look and see what is left. So there are no more, uh, actually there's one more defense module. So let's tell the Osakas to go after that. Confirmed. But I can't, um, I can't get to it at this point because my engines won't let me move. So we'll just have to wait for uh, the drones to fix my engines. 
once the Osakas take that last defense module out, then I'm just going to tell them to generally attack the station and take out whatever else is left. So overall, this has uh, been quite a success. Um, I know I got a little bit irritated there, <laughs> the AI being stupid, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I, I'm, I'm not displeased with how things went. I'm, and I'm very happy that we didn't lose that, you know, our Osakas. We came close to losing two of them in that battle, and that would not have been good. It would have been seriously irritating, but it didn't happen, so it's all good. Um, all right, so it looks like the Osakas are still just kind of generally attacking. Um, so I'm just going to let them do their thing and take out the rest of the wharf and wait for these drones to get me fixed up here. Uh, we do need to go Explosion put... Imminent. Uh, we do need to go put a stop to this new station that they're attempting to put back Explosion up. Imminent. Um, but it's only at 15% and it's been that way for a long time because they can't really get any resources to it to, to take it any further. So, alright, are all of the... Defense modules down. Nope, there's still this one here. I think, um, is that the one they've been going after? Okay. All right, I just reissued the command just in case. Unless that was another one. I thought there was only one left, though. Uh, but anyway, why don't we... I might actually send the fighters after these two S ships um, and get rid of them. The only thing that could go wrong with that is Explosion if imminent. something explodes on the station, but I think they'll probably be okay. So let's have them attack you and then attack you. We also have another S ship meandering up there, but it has really no place to go. Oh, look at that. The Talati have claimed fires of defeat. How about that? Okay, well, they can have it. That's fine. Um, I might not even claim Matrix 9 either. I don't know. We'll see. You know, even the only real advantage to claiming it is then we don't have to pay for the, the plot space, but it's not that big a deal in the grand scheme of things. So we'll see. But I'd much rather have a friendly faction in here. In fact, look at that. Yeah, they're going to claim. Talati's like totally coming after all of this space. I wonder if they'll try and get into Family Takur too, which is originally a split space. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Okay. So this wharf is... Oh, there it goes. It just, orders. We just took it out. Yay, us! <laughs> Alright, well, guys, for all intents and purposes... The Xenon in this area of space have been defeated. Awaiting orders. I mean, I still have to take out those two defense platforms, which I will do uh, in this thing, but I think we've got pretty much got the job done. We're like 99% finished here. Awaiting orders. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm trying to think of what I want to do next. You know, what? we could, we probably should put a station here maybe in between these two gates um and and you make it a, a a defense station but also a, a well we don't we don't really even need a defense station now unless pirates start showing up just make it a trading station but we could also put an admin building and claim the space ourselves. um before the talati you know kind of try and get in here and do it so let's try something here um if we go into Manage plots. Probably in the long run, when everything's civil around here, we'll probably get more traffic coming through that gate. So I think I would like to be a little closer to this gate. So what we're going to do is... I'm just going to create a big plot because it's not going to cost us anything and rather have it be too big and not big enough. Should be able to go up to to 10 on all of these, right? 
There we go. Can I go further than that? What about 12 by 12 by 12? Wait, can they all be 20 by 20? I don't think they can. They can be 18 by 18. Okay. Um. Okay, so let's do create new plot. And I'm going to set it a little closer to, to this gate than the other one. Matrix number nine, factory. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got the plot there. And we're going to, and again, I'm getting on this now because um, if we're going to take over this sector, we'd need to do it before the Talati get in here. Uh, so we want defense modules. We want an administrative center. And I think, I think we'll just put it right in the, Middle. I'm not planning on building a big complex here. It's going to really just be a trading station. So we'll start with that. Um, I mean, I suppose we could... We could make it a big defense platform. Did I save that? We got the fully... Oh, you know what? I didn't save the platform. My other one that we made in reverse... Uh, where, where, wherever our sector is. So let's actually get out of here for a second. And let's go... To Reaver's Admin Center. Plan build. Save this. We'll call it Reaver's Admin and Defense. Save as new. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's go back here to our Matrix 9 factory. And we want to load reverse admin and defense. Very good. Okay. And I think I want it to be pointing towards that gate. So let's flip it this way 90 degrees. And then we can add... Um, We could probably, we can either turn this into a trading station. I think we can. I don't see why not. Or if we can't do that, then we'll just, we have plenty of room. We can create a different, I can shrink this plot and create a new trading station in a new plot. So I think it has to be in its own plot. Okay, let's confirm module changes. Let's see if there's a builder in the area that we could bring over here. Because I don't, I want to keep our own builder busy doing what it's already doing. It's an albatross. Okay, so we'll select that albatross to come over here. Um, I'm going to just give this the money and let, let the AI deliver to us for now. Once we're completely finished with the war here, you know, then I, I might get some of my ships involved too with bringing the resources, but at least this will get it started. Okay, fantastic. So we are going to claim Matrix 9. That is the plan. Uh, this is If you didn't see this in the last couple episodes, uh, this is a very resource-rich sector. It's got 136 million methane, 291,000 nevidium, 176 million ore and silicon. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff there. And then we're missing hydrogen and helium. Uh, but there's a decent amount of hydrogen in Matrix 451, and there's nothing there. There's nothing there. But 
There's a little bit of helium in Eonimus 04, which would be the next closest system. So helium might be a thing, but I'm not, uh, you know, that's really only going to be an issue if I decide to build more here than just a trading station. Um, we might, we might actually do a whole parts factory here too, because that's going to help them with their economy. I don't know. We'll see. Um, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. We still need to, to deal with the rest of these dudes. So as long as this stays at 15%, which I'm pretty sure it will, because there's not really anything feeding it, I think we can go ahead and take out these defense platforms. Next. So is my rattlesnake engines fixed? Uh, one of them is, okay. That's all we need. No, it looks like they got two of them fixed. Or no, maybe it is just one. They're working on it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Um, I will show you the tail end of taking out these uh, two, these final two uh, stations. And then we can celebrate. So, I'll be back in a bit. Guys, that's it. Xenon are toast. We have completely pushed them out of this area of the galaxy. And we are well on our way to having our admin station uh, set up. I did go ahead and uh, off camera there assign my freighters uh, to start bringing in some stuff. Um, so if we take a look at the defense platform here. It has um, everything that it needs and a little extra uh, coming between my ships and um, one Talati ship there. So it's uh, it's working right now on the admin uh, administrative center and when that's done then this sector will belong to us. It'll be our second sector ever in this playthrough and a pretty good sector at that so yeah pretty excited that we finally pushed those bastard xenons out of here um the Talati are wasting no time <laughs> they've taken over matrix 451 um and it looks like they're going after family to too yeah, there's one lone xenon ship so we we still actually no we're not done yet i forgot we, we still have to go take these guys out but there's only two defense platforms in this system in one one k so it'll be a walk in the park um and then i'll probably leave this system for for free families to take since the greedy fucking talati are just coming in here <laughs> scooping everything up that's right i'd rather have the talati have it though than the xenon um so yeah the plan here is going to be uh, that we get our our defense platform set up here and and we're also going to, my plan is to also make it a trading station. I think, you know, uh, either that or, I mean, we might be further ahead, actually. See, if we put a trading station in two grand, we'd be able to service both Zyarth space and free family space pretty easily. Um, well, I guess we already own Matrix. Look at that. 
So even without the defense platform completely finished, you're giving it to us, huh? Oh no, it's done! That was 96% done, not... Never mind, I was reading it bass backwards. Okay, look at that, you guys. We have our administrative center in Matrix 9. Fan-freaking-tastic, okay. Um, so, anyway, yeah, like what I was saying is... It might be more strategic here. Let me stop the ship here because it gets so freaking loud when I'm in the menu and it's running like that. It might be more strategic for us to... Uh, we could certainly build a hull parts factory here, but I think if we're going to do a trading station, two grand might be a better place for it. And I mean, it could even service, you know, these sectors down here because there's four gates coming into two grand. It's a, it's a hub system, essentially. Um, it, uh, and it even has ore and silicon in it directly. Is there a hull parts factory here? Yeah, there is, a, there is one hall part factory there. Um, and it looks like it's got a wares in it, too. So we'd have to compete with that, but... It's just a better, you know, a better spot, because then it's going to help Zyarth out and Free Families out. So I'll have to give that some thought, you know, before we, we make any decisions. But at least, uh, you know, we got uh, Matrix 9... Um, for ourselves, uh, which is fan freaking tastic, and um, you know, really, really good resources in here. So we, if we don't do anything else, we at least need to get some mining operations going in this place, uh, for sure. But what I'm thinking we do is we set up, we actually set up a. I was asked to drop my cargo. Pomerant six, okay. Um, I think we will set up a, a hull parts factory in Matrix Nine. For sure, but that's not necessarily where we're going to have the trading station. So I'll have to just kind of give that a little bit more thought. Um, and so, yeah, with that, guys, um, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. So I'm going to get our defense platform slash trading station um, completed. Oh, you know what? There was one more important thing we need to do here. And we're going to rename this system Reavers Matrix 9. <laughs> Suck it, Xenon. Uh, Suck it, Xenon. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so Reavers Matrix 9. Yes, indeed. Uh, okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to send the Rattlesnake all the way over across the universe to Terran space because uh, I want to uh, fit Terran shields on it. Uh, it's going to almost double the shield capacity of this ship if we do that. Uh, let me just show you this really quick. So if we add the rattlesnake with our current loadout, which has split shields. I should have done this sooner, but just didn't think about it. And then we add it again. Only we switch out everything for Terran Mark III shields. So basically our shields go from 39,340 to 69,424. Um, so we get about a 45% increase-ish or so in shields for the main shields. And it increases the, well, it, it just, it, it's about a 45, uh, maybe even 47, 48% increase in shields for our turrets. Um, and a much, much faster recharge rate, over double the recharge rate um, for, for those shields. So, yeah, um, in fact, yeah, double, it doubles the recharge rate a little more than doubles the recharge rate for the main shields, too. So that is just a significant improvement for the rattlesnake. Uh, so we're it, we're gonna do that. I just have I've just needed it for this whole entire campaign, so I couldn't let it go all the way across space. Uh, well, I didn't want to take that much time to do that. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, because you know we had to keep the pressure up on the Xenon. So I'm gonna send the rattlesnake over there to get new shields fitted, and it's gonna be a lot tougher. Uh, you know, for its next run. 
hopefully it'll it'll have some some more support um again like i said i'm not planning on doing another large campaign like this until we can build up a, a larger fleet we got the job done it was a lot of fun i learned a lot but it was it took so long to do that with such a small fleet that uh, unless unless we're in a situation where we kind of need to get on it i'm going to wait until you know we have a carrier and some at least some more destroyers and probably you know uh, we'll definitely more fighter wings too um because i'll tell you what is badass as the Rattlesnake and the Osakas were, it's really the fighters, uh, you know, that made this so effective, particularly with their ability to quickly take out the engines on, you know, the I's and the K's. That just made all the difference in the world for us to be able to be successful doing this. So I am a, a firm believer uh, in the fighters in this game and especially the wonderful She Fighter. Um, you know, my Chimeras eventually all got killed. Chimeras are a glass cannon. They hit, they're fast, and they hit hard, but, man, they just aren't very tough. You know, typical split uh, ship. Um, and the she's just, you know, they're so much more durable. A little less firepower, a little less speed than the Chimeras, but just way tougher. So I'm sold on them. In fact, I already bought the blueprint for them anyways, but we can't make them until we have the facility, of course. All right, guys. Well, that being said, uh, I don't know exactly when I'll bring you back, but I will bring you back uh, for another episode with an update on how we're doing on our empire here. And uh, until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.